peace. Well, going to walk in. This is Turtle from Turtle Gang, and we are here with KO. And uh, if you don't know about her and the work she's doing, somebody you definitely need to follow up on and, and support her. She's doing a great thing. She's fighting for the nations. And um, you know, I don't want to be too long-winded. Well, let you uh, right. you native. That's natural. Let, <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. But uh, let you introduce yourself and uh, you know, give all the information where people can follow you. And you know, I heard you speaking about a movement you're beginning. Yes, so yep. maybe you want to speak on that a little bit. Sure. Well, with Sasuis McQuinnanog, which means I am McQuinnanog, which means many feathers or many talents. I'm from Providence, Rhode Island, three-time middleweight world champion, the only first female world champion and the first female to ever fight on HBO. Um, here representing my Seekonk and Wampanoag tribe, and I am just honored to be here today. It's a, it's a pleasure, it's an honor, it's a lot of good energy here, it's uh, the beginning of a lot of good movements that are going to be loud and clear for us indigenous people so i'm excited to be here today so how long have you been fighting i've been fighting for um i've been pro for 10 years now and i've been fighting for 18 plus years now so i've been fighting pro since 2018 going into my 11th year wow and you hold three belts or you've held? I actually am the former three-time middleweight world champion. So I had the WBC middleweight world championship, the IBA world champion, and the UBF world championship. Okay, um, I had seen earlier you uh, you talk, you go to schools and you talk to kids. Yes. Things like that. You want to talk about that a little bit? I do uh, motivational speaking. I go to schools. Um, I actually work at a group home for teenage girls. Um, I have girls ages between 12 and 17. I go to behavioral schools, um, juvenile detention centers, regular high schools schools uh, everywhere and everywhere that I get asked I have I, I, I love giving that kind of motivation and inspiration and kind of sharing my story where I started what I've been through how I got where I am today and um, the movement that I'm kind of trying to start right now is uh, my slogan is fight for all nations that's what you guys heard me say it's exactly that I fight for all nations so I'm starting what I call a res tour a fight for all nations res tour where I'm gonna just hit as many communities and reservations as I can doing the motivational speaking trying to help rebuild communities bringing water food um, anything that I can get and um, get sponsors behind me to just give back to my communities and eventually start this whole res tour with like a fight night like a big old fight powwow fight night that's the big big idea so um, we're gonna make it happen we got a campaign going um, I have a website up uh, and it kind of explains a little bit more in depth exactly what my vision is and our vision is and I just I want to see you guys in person I want to come to your reservations your communities I want to hear what you guys want to see change um, and what you'd like to fight for if you could get in that square circle and fight for something what would you what would you fight for yeah, no, that, that's honorable commendable definitely um, want to support you and everything you're doing you. um, also one thing to talk to you about is um you're of mixed heritage yes I am okay so there's a lot of people at this point in time 2019 out of discovering their heritage yep. and they're coming into a realization of who they are yes um what do you have to say what do you have to say to them to these people of mixed heritage in regards to uh how important it is to discover the native side of, of who you are i say it, it's extremely support um important i you know i remember growing up and you know i'm cape verdean and native american but i grew up you know my mother teaching me the native american ways we, she was discovering as well more and more about herself and about her native roots as i was growing up so we basically learned together but, and she taught me what she already knew from her mother her grandmother as well um but i always thought I needed to be more native or I needed to be more, I don't know much about being Cape Verdean, but it was a kind of a thing I had to get used to and it, so it was a struggle um, to try to, you wasn't native enough, your hair's curly, but you're not black, but you're not white, you look Spanish, you could be Korean, like it was just a, a huge struggle. But it is, it is so, so, so important to find out who you are and get connected and I am so proud to be of mixed heritage because I'm standing here right now as being proof of we are still here and we survived. They try to wipe us out, but because I'm mixed and try, they try to wipe out our our blood our native blood I'm still here and I'm mixed and I know exactly who I am I know exactly who I'm connected to what I'm here to do and who my people are and I love being mixed it took a while for me to get here but I, I love it so okay. couldn't be better so just just uh, just to wrap it up 
what uh, what type of advice would you give to anybody who is just now coming into the understanding of who they are? Be proud of who you are, both sides, every side that you are, everything that you are, and be connected because there's so much power in knowing who you are, knowing your purposes, and being connected to the people and the ancestors that came here before you. You're here for a reason, and you're gonna discover who you are, and just be loud and proud, and and wear that as a badge of honor. I'm Kaylee K. O. Reese from Providence, Rhode Island, three-time middleweight world champion, and also one of the two women that broke down history barriers and was the first woman to fight on HBO. And Jeff Thorsten right here, come behind a boom. There's an overhand right, right between it, and she even landed her right. Hand.